Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and it's a hold itself closed box, but there is a reason for the diamond pattern and this quite tall panel at the top. And that is because when you open it, you get this lovely hexagon shape. Now I've had it sat closed in this position for the last couple of weeks over Christmas, unfortunately. I didn't think to open it up, a bit dippy, so that it is trying to keep itself in that position. But as long as you've got three panels on the front, whoops, three panels no matter which way round you close it it will go the same and it opens up into a great big gorgeous box now like I say that panel matches that one and it closes like that but you could leave it like that so you've got this gorgeous design put your ready shreddy crinkle shrinkle stuff in the top and you're good to go now I want to show you a version made using paper but obviously you can see I've made it in cardstock and I've put panels on there but I want to do a paper version. Okay, so I have got the lovely sweet soiree, cake soiree set, eight by nine and a half inches, 20 by 25 centimeters. Please don't worry about writing anything down. I will, it's all going to be on my blog and it will be too complicated for you to write it down and try and get it right. So just head over to my blog. You can, and the link is in the description below and you'll be able to watch this video with the instructions underneath it. So. Don't worry. Right, we're going to start on the short side. Now I've got a pattern that has, I want this deeper, or this more full sparkle pattern. That's over on my left hand side. Score it fully, one and a half, three, four and a half, and six inches, which is four, eight, twelve, and sixteen centimetres. Now this one being slightly deeper in imperial, is going to be what becomes the base, hence why I wanted that at the top and this at the base. Turn it, and we're going to score on this shorter one just to the first score line at every one and a half inches. So one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, and when you get to the nine inches, all the way down. And in metric, that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24. Now you need to flip it over, and this time you're going to score to the second score line. Okay? So you've got the deeper one and then the second score line. And again, exactly the same measurements. One and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, and the nine has already been done. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And that's already done. So hopefully you can see it a bit better on this side. Yes, you can. So there's my score lines at the top. There we go. And then the two layers there. To be fair, these are more cut lines, but those are score lines. And what we're going to do, let me tip it so you can see it. There we go. That line there is going to go down to there. And we're going to bisect it. So... Grab your steel ruler. You should be able to see it kind of after I've done it, more so than pre-doing um, pre it. Mind you, I'll be lucky if I can see it. Oh, I've gone too far. Oh. Good job that one's at the back. <laughs> I went too far. Oh. Don't do that. Although I'm sure it would make a very pretty pattern if you did. Okay, so that's the first section done. You can see where I messed up there. Like I say, that's going to be at the back. And then come down and do exactly the same down there. I spotted this idea on Pinterest and it I don't know how I discovered it, but it was... A student's website and they had been given the this task to take on the role as a concept artist for Doritos to design new packaging and their packages were considerably bigger and this was what they came up with this box that held the Doritos and then when you popped it open it was a handy size to eat the Doritos out of obviously there was no instructions whatsoever and it was just literally it was a picture and it was sort of like grayscale cardstock um, no instructions, nothing. So I thought, let's have a bash. Right, okay, let's have some fun now. So score lines. Do the horizontal first. 
because that's always easier. And this single one that goes all the way from top to bottom that's on the vertical. Obviously, we can't fold any of those. Those. Oh, look, I missed one. <laughs> and that needs to go in anyway. Right, so all of the ver all of the horizontal ones are done in that one single vertical. Now we're going to have some fun and games because I need to get these folded. And as you can see, the diagonal lines pop out. They pop out and the other ones go in. So see that? So I've got to get these diagonal lines coming out. So fold them away from yourself. Don't be brutal on the on the scoring because you end up with a crack, which is what I did on my prototype. <laughs> that would be two kittens that have just come hurtling down the corridor like a herd of elephants into my office. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> Having a mad half hour. I might have to go and shut my office door <laughs> before I film the next one. Oh, for goodness sake. Berry appeared in Friday's video. <clears throat> and she ran off and she had a whale of a time with um, the strip off my mini glue dots. Sorrel is awake now and she's the little naughty one. Okay, so this bit here, and I explained that that was the bit that we needed to cut. So you've got this single panel, single panel and a deeper one. In metric it's not deeper actually, but that's the only one to cut up. <laughs> They're going to end up in here in a minute, aren't they? Okay. This is my bit for glue. I'm going to notch off the top and let me just hover and hold and show you for a second. So those are all loose at the bottom but still connected at the top. Glue down here. Uh, where is my glue? Put away. I'm taking this whole don't put it down, put it away thing a little bit too far, aren't I, when I put all my glue away between <laughs> filming. And then measure and marry up. and stick. Now you kind of need to get your hands in there and press quite firmly but it will all stick. Okay so that's actually the shape it was kind of this one would have been except I'd left it sat for such a long time that it's it's going sort of like an angular one but that's the top so turn that over you need wet glue for this and I'm going to start building it so this is the back of my box, so I want to end there first. So let's start, just start bringing in sides. Blob of glue and over. Blob of glue and over. Blob of glue. And then this is my final one at the back because that's my front. One there, one there. And the reason I like to use wet glue is that I can manipulate it all about with the shape until I've got my perfect hexagon shape. Okay, because I've got wibbly room. There we go. And wibbly room is such a technical term. Turn it over. Steel ruler. Or anything long. And it will go in there. And like I say, you can see the shape it's meant to be now when it's open. Beautiful panelling there and as I said as so long as you've got three of your little squares at the front it will close like that. Maybe give it a bit of a burnish. Super closed. Let's take it round one. Close there. Give that a burnish. Still closed. Take it round one more. Hola. What do you think? 
How cool is that? I love it. I've lost my back again. There it is. That is so cool. Now we've got a ridge here in the middle because there's a score line there. Let's get that covered. What have I got that I can cover it with? Ooh. Well, I used that that one before, but I don't want to use that again. Hmm. This one, I think. Calypso Coral Ombre Ribbon. Works for me. So, from one student's concept art of a Doritos package to a very pretty box. that just looks lovely and like I say I've made it so that it does close but you could simply have it open like that your ready shreddy crinkly stuff in there with a knot twisted ribbon <sighs> I managed that oh well it's at the back I'll sort it out in a minute gorgeous I think love it love it love it anyway thank you ever so much for joining me Two small, they're now fighting Seriously, they're on my office floor fighting like two naughty little girls or children. Anyway, hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.